Hi guys, this is Kenji for the Kenji Diaries and uh, today we're going to be making Turkish coffee with this Turkish coffee maker called the Arzum Oka Minio Gent. Ooh, get that. Oh, that's in reverse in this. Oh. So, I've been asked to make uh, a video about this, so it's actually quite easy to make this. It's actually literally a push of a button, but anyways, I'm here to do a how-to video and my review of the coffee that is made from this. So. First of all, you'll probably need an international adapter from wherever you are. I'm from Australia, I had this uh, bad boy brought in from overseas, and we're going to plug it in. Now, I could have had this plugged in initially, but you might be worried about the sound that it makes. But when you plug it in, the sound that it makes is completely normal. So here we go. Let's plug it in. There you go. That sound that you hear is normal, and that's just showing you that it's gone on. So now, if you put this thing in properly, so there you go, it sits in. And then you will see a light at the top here that shows it's ready to go. But you're probably wondering what are the proportions of our uh, coffee and should we even put. And again, for one uh, cup of Turkish coffee, which is pretty much around this size, you know, one spoon of Turkish coffee is all that you need. I find that the best one for me in terms of price and taste is the Bushels Turkish coffee you can find here at your local supermarket. It's like $6.50 for 250 grams or like 13 bucks for uh, 500 grams if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. So not too hard. I won't break bank and the taste is great. So yeah, pretty much just like a full scoop like that. They provide one, but you can also use a heaped teaspoon as well. So it's not fatal if you, you know, lose this for whatever reason. So just put in a spoon of that. And people put like, you know, if you're making tea, they might put like an extra tea bag for the pot. You can do that, and I tend to earn the side of caution and do just put like a little tiny smidge more just for the pot. Great, so that's that part covered. You can add sugar to your liking, you know, whether it's like half a spoon, teaspoon that is, or one teaspoon, you can add that. I don't need that. I'm just going to put water in this. So how much water you put is literally... The amount of the cup so this little small little Turkish cup here I'm just gonna fill this in be right back okay so I've just filled in some water here to the brim so hopefully I don't sort of spill it anyway so take this out and then just put the water in straight from the cup and what you want to do is also stir that as well so let me just get a spoon be right back okay I am back I just got a spoon and I'm just literally just giving it a good one server making sure that it's uh, Nicely mixed. Some people might just do like a one, two, three, but everyone's got their own personal choice. All right, that is ready to go. Let's just take that spoon away. Put back here. Okay, literally the only other thing you need to do here is just press the button at the top. So as you can see over here, that goes red. And that'll uh, do it for you. There's really nothing more you need to do. In that regard, it'll give you the perfect uh, crema on the top, if that's the correct terminology. Well, the froth and the bubbles, it'll do that. But yeah, nothing more to do on that point. So let's wait for this guy to heat up. As you can hear, it's whirring up. So usually I have the electric jester, so I manually sort of wait for the timing just before it boils. And I've got videos on this as well. I think the first time I did a video on this, the bubble content was not that good. And I was like, damn. And I learnt the spoon method where you sort of scoop off a bit of the uh, top level bubbles and put them in and then put the rest of the Turkish coffee in. That's a method that I became more expert. And then you just put a little bit in and put more in. Yeah, it just comes from experience. But this even takes that out of the equation as well. So anybody can make excellent... Uh, oh, it's already ready. It's uh, deepen over here. It did like a... Hold on, I'll just show you guys. This flashed red, white, red, white, maybe red, white two, three times to signify that it is done. It's got a sensor in it, a technology these days. Gosh, don't even have to be expert, which probably stems to my next point, the review. So let's do this. Pour a little bit, wait, and then slowly pour the rest. And you'll see the bubble content come as well. And you will have Beautiful crema bubbles on the top as well. Perfect. I'll just show you guys how this looks as well. That is a uh, race 
finish perfect. That's exactly the um, quality that you're going to get from a cafe. And you know, nine times out of ten, if you're going to a cafe, unless they've sort of got like the hot sort of sand and stuff, and they're making it like as a theatrical thing, they're just using machines like this when they're making your coffee. So it's really easy. Anybody can make this. And now let's give this a go. Perfect, you know, just, you know, the taste that I'd expect. As you can see, quite easy. And that stems to my next part of this uh, video, which goes to the review of this device. I think it's fantastic. Uh, 50 bucks, had this brought in. One of the best, uh, well, if you're talking about investments, this is for me, just for me, my view, this is definitely a great investment to have. Turkish coffee is time and time again, it's going to do it. And uh, you don't have to think about it. You could be doing something else. Beep, 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 it's already done. No skill required. Excellent 10 out of 10 copies each time. So yeah, hope this video has been helpful to you guys. Like and subscribe uh, to my channel, The Kenji Diaries. Thank you so much.